The Dark Side of Rich Kids Volunteering Abroad by Vice. What's good? How your day going? How's your morning? Your evening? Your night? Whenever you're watching this video, I'm not about to talk your ears off. I'm about to jump right into this. Before you leave the whole look, comment the spiel of, hey, but they rich. What kind of problems they gonna go through? Blah, blah, blah. I mean, let's be for real, though. Even though they have a shit ton of pay, they're still human. So last I checked, and all humans go through some bullish. But either way it go, though, let's... Check out the dark side of rich kids. You want to check out the original video? The link will be in the description below. But let's go. Volunteerism is a multi billion dollar industry. It sells wealthier people access to impoverished and struggling communities in exchange for a life affirming experience. Kids would see vans of volunteers pulling towards them and they'd quickly rub dirt on their faces so that they'd, they'd be more appealing, ironically, uh, to the volunteers and look like they needed more help. Each of us paid thousands of dollars to go on this trip. Of that trip fee, almost none of it went to the orphanage. The primary goal, we were told, was to build a library. Our work was so bad that the uh, local builders who were working alongside us would come back while we were sleeping and undo our work and redo it. They abused children. Damn, speaking of, damn, like how, kind of how you do your kids when they clean up, it's like, all right, that was cool and all, but you don't know what you're doing. You low key just in a way. Us would come back while we were sleeping and undo our work and redo it. They abused children in orphanages while under the guise of being a volunteer. What you're being sold is the idea that you'll help a community. What you're really buying is an opportunity to help yourself. Life of Army. I never heard of volunteerism. I've been involved in volunteerism for over a decade. The language used by volunteerism tends to be along the lines of you can change the world and find yourself all at the same time. I wanted to physically go out to be that change, make a difference, be a global citizen. I definitely was thinking about how it would look when I applied to college and how it would look on my resume. I convinced my parents to pay a couple thousand dollars for me to be able to go on this trip to Tanzania. It was about three weeks long. For $3,000, we would get to volunteer in an orphanage, teach some English lessons, play with some kids, go on a safari, I was entirely unqualified and unprepared and should not have been allowed to do this. You are gonna be working with uh, young children who are extremely vulnerable. I came from an all girls school where I had a walk-in closet and I was pulling up to this all girls orphanage where they shared bunk rooms without running water. The primary goal of our Huge time at difference. the orphanage was to build a library. We believed that we'd be able to build the whole thing while we were there until you realize that none of us had ever done any construction work. There was a general feeling that the local workmen were lazy at times because they were showing up late. One morning I woke up and decided to go outside. I started walking up where we were building the library and I saw that there were men working at the construction oh, site. I realized that they were taking apart what we'd done oh. and redoing it. And then they'd let it set. And by the time that we would show up to work in a few more hours, we'd be none the wiser. I told one of the... <laughs> the fact that, dang, this is crazy. Both sides is playing each other. Because, yo, the the poor are looking at them like, man, of course, we well, we see the fact showing they can't build. They, they don't know how to do this shit. They're not good with their hands. But the part we're going to try to play them on is we're going to undo their work and redo it because we just feel like they're going to be so damn delusional and stupid. I'm like, oh, my God, look at what I did. That, that piece of shit I built yesterday, it just had to sit. I came back today, and it is a freaking castle because I'm not about to unbuild it. I'm not about to build it for free. Like, I know y'all got paid. Give me some money. Well, I, they don't. I don't think... They don't know. Do they know? Because, yeah, she said the kids some of them would rub the dirt on their face and everything. Yeah, you about to tell your family, why me? I almost said $40. 400 We It's 400 I forgot. I 40 4000 Not a 40 Doing more. It. I need more than that. And then they'd let it set. And by the time that we would show up to work in a few more hours, we'd be none the wiser. 
I told one of the chaperones uh, from my school on the trip about what I'd seen and was advised to keep it to myself. You have stories of people donating bags full of toys that the orphanage director then goes and, and gives to his own kids or sells or locks in a closet so that the next Damn. group of volunteers will donate bags of toys. Because if they see kids playing with tons of toys, they won't bring toys. If they see kids sleeping on a good bed with a good mattress, they won't donate money for better beds and better mattresses. We did not eat our meals with the children in the orphanage. Uh, we ate separately, uh, which was a rule at that orphanage. It was so we wouldn't know what they were eating. My Damn. typical breakfast at the orphanage uh, would include fresh fruit juice, hard-boiled eggs, toast, jams, butter. The children were most often having beans and rice that they cooked themselves. We also would help them sort the pebbles out of the beans. A number of times, the girls were expecting the pebbles out of the beans. A number of she said, help them sort the pebbles out of the beans. Now, don't get me wrong, ignorantly, I'm like, yeah, beans and rice is good, but yeah, they eat that every damn day, dog, and get the pebbles out of it, nah. Cooked themselves. We also would help them sort the pebbles out of the beans. A number of times, right. the girls were expected to sing for us. The exchange for them having a really good meal was to sing and dance. We were a predominantly white group. When I was in Tanzania, a uh, young woman was questioning her sexuality and was being encouraged by this volunteer to live openly. The reality of this young woman's life was that she lived in a community where doing so would put her at very great physical danger. And so this volunteer was so focused on her own moral compass and moral values that she couldn't quite see how the advice she was giving this young woman could potentially kill her. The directors of the orphanage did not see the children's health as a priority. We were advised by other long-term volunteers at the orphanage that when residents did get malaria, despite there being money to pay, for them to get medical care, they were not provided with medical care. The leadership of the orphanage were unwilling to spend the money. 80% of children who live at orphanages have not lost one or both parents. They are not orphans. They don't have birth certificates. <laughs> they don't have IDs. No one knows who they are or where they are. These children are anonymous. The thing that really haunts me is the connection between orphanages and child sex trafficking. There are Brits, there are Americans, there are Australians who've been arrested, uh, and that's just the tip of the iceberg for exploiting children and abusing them sexually and physically while making Bro, money from people like me who wanted to do good. They abused children in orphanages while under the guise of being a volunteer. Volunteerism is continuing to grow as an industry. During the pandemic, the trip providers who are the most successful were actively marketing trips to Tanzania as an opportunity to escape COVID and pretend like it didn't exist. You can say that you are giving 100% of fees back to a community without doing that. You can say those things because no one's checking up on you. No one's verifying that this is happening. The reason why it continues to increase is that many of the experiences that are similar to what I had as a volunteer of having children running towards me and wanting to sit on my lap and wanting me to carry them are still so emotionally compelling. They're still so alluring. It feels so good that it's really easy for someone to apply exceptionalism. Doggy bone, I'm not gonna lie to you. This video made a hard left on me because the first minute in, ignorantly dog, I ain't gonna lie, I was thinking what this sounds like is rich kids who just got so much money they don't know what else to do that, hey, I wanna go experience the hood life and blend in for like two or three weeks, but I gotta pay because it's some type of dark shit we're doing. That's what I thought it was. I'm like, yo, that wouldn't be bad because I mean, we do it low key. We pay to live the rich life for like, 
two weeks, three weeks, whatever. Well, like a couple of days now, shit getting hard. But either way it go, though, that's where I thought it was going. But no, as it played out, of course, as it should. Man, it played out and I understood, like, yeah, people are just fucking foul. Dog, the orphanage part, strangely, this little part made sense to me when she was like, it's no point to have all the toys out, all these good toys, because if people come in, they're going to say, oh, damn, I see they have a crap ton of toys, so I don't need to donate that. Let me donate something else, which sucks because that feels more like a mental block between the two adults, the two sides from the adults there where, where we should understand, like, yeah, it's just because, yo, kids, these kids should be should be coming and going out of here, hopefully a good families, whatever, so the toys get taken, get destroyed, so we can always use them, but... Yeah, like I said, it's just some it's a block there with the dots, man. This was wild. Hey, I'm gonna go ahead and get up out of here. If you wanna check out the original video again, the link will be in the description below. Hey, blah. Whenever you're watching this video, hey, but go ahead and get up out of here. Enjoy your day, your morning, your evening, your night. Hey, do me a favor, go ahead, click that like button. Also, keep your head up as well. You can't do nothing about that shit you worried about. You stressing for nothing. You can't do nothing about it. If you can, do something. I'm out.